Okay, now I have it all pinned on, okay? And I also have orange in the bottom, in the bobbin area, and then I actually have white thread on the top. And it's all-purpose thread. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew at the top of these, okay? Now, remember to pin it on real well. And we're going to get it straight across. We're not going to worry this time about it being perfect or completely straight or anything like that. We're just doing our very first decorative pillow. Okay? You can do this with bigger ones. You can take lace and you can go across the pillow. Okay? So you can go diagonal. You can go diagonal that way. You can go up and down. You can do one on the side, one in the middle. Have fun. You can do lace. You can do rick rack. Rick rack is the ziggy zag kind of uh, trim you can get it back close to the where the zippers are okay but all we're going to do right now is sew this on all right so now i'm on a straight stitch meaning completely straight and we're going to do a one and a zero okay for those hat brother machines and i'm going to slow my machine down because i want to go really straight okay so, let's see if I can get this back far enough so we can see what's going on. Okay. Now, I do have orange in the bob bobbin. Now, the bobbin thread stays on the bottom. And so, it will be on the back. And it will blend in with the fabric. And then the white thread, creamy white, will blend in with the top. Okay. All right. Let's see what I can do here. I know it's not perfect. But I'm going to take my, need my thread, my needle, I'm going to roll it down where I want it. So I have it where I want it. If I didn't, I can move this around, pick up my presser fit and move it around, roll my needle in. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take out the first pin. And i use my magnetic pin cushion here. I'm going to go one, hit my pedal once, and then I'm going to go back. This is like making your knot. And then I'm going to go real slow. Now I'm going to speed myself up a little bit. But I do not want you girls going fast. I'd rather you have control and go slow and do it with accuracy instead of Speedy Gonzalez. You know, I was calling some of y'all that last week. Alright, so straight on. Okay. Let's see if I can show y'all that more. Okay. Right at the top. I'm just guiding it just gentle. See, you can even put your finger right there that curves up and you won't get it. Don't hit this this right here. Put your hand under that. This little screw can hit it and bruise your finger. Won't hurt you other than a big bruise, but it'll it won't feel very good. Okay. Now, when you get to the end, you needles in, you're gonna hit your back stitch. You can do a couple times if you want to. That's making your knot. And then I'm going to sew off the fabric. Not off this. It's sticking out. So it won't matter. Just off the orange fabric. And then I'm going to hit the needle up button. Which is this. Okay. If you don't have a needle up button. You take your flywheel and roll it towards you. Into the up position. Same thing as rolling it up. So here's that. So I'm going to hit the needle up button. The needle's going to come up. I'm going to lift my presser foot. And pull her out. And I have a cut over here on the side. Then I'm going to tuck my thread back under the presser foot to the back and go ahead and get it set up for the next one. Alright, let's do the other two. I'm going to speed myself up. You don't go too fast unless you are being accurate. If you're being accurate, you can go faster. If you're not accurate and getting all off and everywhere, then slow it down till you have control. Okay? Now, some of you are going to turn your machines up and try it fast, and it's going to be all over the place. So, try it out and see. And you can make sure your, your lace is all the way on there. Pull it out, cut it off, tuck it back under. And then I'm going to see wiggly, ziggly lines all over the place. Take your time, because you guys want to learn to be able to do it this fast, right? Alright. And we'll see how ziggly, wiggly mine is, too. Alright, back stitch at the end. Sew off the edge. Cut it off. 
All right, tuck it back under. You're ready to sew again in just a minute. Now, I'm going to lay this down here. Okay, cut this off. Okay. Mine's a little off myself. Trying to get it done too fast to show you guys. Alright, once it's finished, then that is the right side, right? Okay, this is the right side. Our lines are on the, that way. Now, if I want my pillow that way, okay, then this needs to be the bottom, which means that needs to be, that needs to be the bottom, which means that needs to be the opening, right? So I need to make sure I put the one where I drew the lines all the way around it the opening at the bottom make sure you leave the opening at the bottom because when you hand sew it you do not want all your stitches that may not be beautiful up here near the top okay your hand stitch it so now i'm going to pin it okay now it's pinned and I'm back to the sewing machine I'm going to start, okay? I always want my fabric on the outside of my machine. I don't want to turn it this way and start sewing with the fabric on the inside. Always on the outside. All right, so I'm going to start right here and sew all the way around and stop when I get to the second mark, leaving that hole in the middle. Okay, oop, and then change up my white thread. I'm going to have orange thread now. Orange thread on, the cap on. Now it's ready. Thread to the back underneath the presser foot. I put it down. I roll my needle in. I hit my back stitch. Okay. Once or twice. Then I'm going to go all the way to the end. I'm going to go ahead and take out that first pin. Get to the end. Roll your needle in. Pick it up. Pit it. Put her back down. Stay on your line. Now we'll talk about our sewing gauge and those little lines on your sewing machine later. But right now these lines work really well. Get to the end, roll the needle in, pick it up, pivot, put her back down. Get to the end, roll your needle in, pick it up, pivot, put it back down. Now some machines the needle goes automatically in. Back stitch, take her out, you use your scissors or the side thing to cut. Now, we've sewn all the way around, cut off all your threads, make it neat, Let's reach in, okay? Now, another thing you can do is you can clip your corners a little bit, not down to your stitch, because you know, then you'd have a hole, right? It might be easier to get out your corners. Reach in, Let's turn it all right side out, okay? Now, in some of the stuffing, they have these sticks. Call them pokey sticks. And you can put them in here and poke out the this. All right, now you have this opening down here. So you need to go to the iron and iron that really, really flat right there. Okay? And then you have your pillow all pretty. Okay, and that is your design. Now, once you iron that flat, you're going to take your stuffing and start stuffing it in. And I always go and stuff the corners first. And then finish filling up the pillow. But isn't that pretty? Alright, so now we're going to take our needle and thread and stitch it closed.